In this worked example we're going to look at the design and detailing of a small office mezzanine. We've laid out the basic outline of the floor on the drawing here. This is in AutoCAD. It's not quite ordinary AutoCAD as you can tell from some of the toolbars around the screen. Up here we've got a toolbar which is part of multi-steel mezzanine and this is what we're going to use to detail the floor uh, later on. I'll just put it back there. Also up here we've got a special layering toolbar which we use as part of multi-steel mezzanine. So multi-steel mezzanine runs inside of AutoCAD. It's an application specifically designed for a mezzanine detailing. On the left we've got some additional toolbars which are all part of the system which I'll talk about later. We're going to carry out the design using the MezQuote software. MezQuote can be used in two modes. It can either be used as a pure quotation system uh, or it can be used as a pure design system where we're not too concerned about the quantities and the price of things because we've moved beyond that stage. We're actually de designing and detailing the job. I've shown on the drawing the basic column positions taking into account the perimeter of our decking. Once you've drawn out the perimeter of the deck it's just a matter of offsetting the outer columns inwards and uh, obviously allowing a bit of a, a bit of space around the edge of the floor. As I've shown here we've got the beam spanning in this direction and the joist spanning in the vertical direction. We've also got hand railing down the left hand side so this is an open area here so this is a little bit like a gallery and we've also got hand railing here, here and here on that side. Single staircase coming up onto a small landing. I've shown the principal dimensions for the floor. These red dimensions are what we need in the MezQuote software. So we need our decking length, spacing of our joists and what we call edge distances at each end. Edge distances are the edge of the decking to the centre line of the column on all four sides. So when we actually design the floor in MezQuote, we're actually going to design it right down to the, to the millimetre. It's going to be a totally accurate design. Once it's designed, we're going to import it back into this CAD drawing. And you'll see later how it will accurately position the floor with all the beams, joists and columns within our profile, which we've got at the moment. In the vertical dimension, these joist bands are quite, quite small. Um, so we're not going to need deep joists at all. Uh, we've got our overall decking dimension there. I've allowed for some bracing in the floor. This is going to be a braced mezzanine and I'm going to use strut braces. Strut braces are one of three bracing types that you can use within MezQuote. You can use a strut brace which is fixed to the top of the column and comes down at an angle onto the concrete floor. You can use full panel diagonal bracing or you can use knee bracing, which uh, is basically at the top of the column, connected to the column and to the adjoining beam. This column here is offset by 400 millimeters, so we need to take account of that in our design program. Let's just come down, down here. Let's look at our design criteria for this floor. So we need to know the basic design criteria before we can even start. It's an office, we're going to use a loading of 3.5 kilonewtons. The deflection limit, we want to limit the deflection to something reasonable as it's an office, there's going to be a lot of people moving around and uh, we don't want too much movement or bounce in the floor. So we'll limit that to 360. The bearing pressure beneath our base plates, normally we would limit that to around 80 kilonewtons a square metre. So we'll we'll design that, uh, or rather MezQuote will design the base plates and tell us exactly what our bearing pressures are going to be uh, beneath our concrete slab. The decking is going to be particle board. It's totally up to you what decking you use. You can use um, grating, uh, ply, uh, B-deck with something like resin deck, wearing surface. All kinds of decking are provided for within the system. In fact, you specify it yourself, so you can use whatever you want to. Our beams are going to be hot rolled, universal beams, grade 275, so that's a yield stress of 275. The joists are galvanized C channels at 600, 
and the bracing as we mentioned is going to be strut bracing 70 square hollow section. The finished floor level uh, is 3200 millimeters. The software allows you to either specify a finished floor level or a clear height. From, from that, if you specify a clear height, it will tell you what finished floor level you need and it obviously knows what depth beams and joists we've got so uh, it just saves having to work that out. Finally, just to talk about the type of mezzanine, this is a cross section through the floor so this is going to be an inset mezzanine. The joists are set within the depth of the beams. The other alternative would be an oversail mezzanine which is not so good structurally. So we're inset, we're using joists in pairs with flanges facing and with tie bars to stabilize the joists. The tie bars, they can be any kind of bridging system. The idea is to stop the joists rotating when they're loaded in the vertical direction, which they have a tendency to do because they're not symmetrical sections. The columns are going to have a cap plate and the beams are going to sit on the cap plate. We have a tolerance gap between our beams. Again, that's something that you set within the Mezquote software base plates with expanding bolts into the existing concrete floor. Later on we'll update the clear height uh, because we'll know that later on. Okay. So what we'll do now is go on and design our floor in the Mesquote software.